Okay, welcome back. Now the guide is telling me to do uh, the next Cortez mission. That's right, because I say it is. Because which is also his last alive. mission, so I am first. it's good to get uh, his missions done and out of the way, because this is the last one. The this mission is also kind of funny, because uh, you're almost guaranteed to hear one line of dialogue over and over and over again, <laughs> and that's, Tommy, we are being overrun by the French. <laughs> I think every time I play this mission, I hear that line at least three or four times. Now, I don't know if that's an indication that I'm doing the mission poorly, or if it's just how the mission is. I don't think I've ever really failed it. I probably failed it like once or twice, but it's not a particularly difficult mission. You see us in concert, see four men rocking and dancing with tears in their eyes. You will see, I am Love Fist. He who pays the piper plays the tune. Oh, I didn't know you had a piper in the band. Love, I was talking metaphorically. I'm a poet. Condensed meaning, enlightenment. We are family living in Death Valley. But I walk alone. I am on a spiritual journey. And if Okay, that fucking jeep is... I was about to say that jeep is driving like a jackass, and then as I was speaking, I fucking crashed, so... <laughs> Pot calling the kettle black there. Yeah, but wasn't Percy voted guitarist of the year by Karap Rock Monthly? Look, look, I love the whole bit of the fuzzy guitar, but he's overrated, love, right? Without the torrents of abuse, love fist would be over, and the new contract reflects that. As an artist, it's really important that I make a lot of money. Right, man? You need to keep you and our friends in your diamonds and that, eh? Yeah, rock on, Keith, Roger, what a trip. Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back, and after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer home. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs> Here we are helping this fucking guy out again. Alright, defend the colonel and his yacht at all costs. Why did they take away my fucking chainsaw? That's what I want to know. Partai, partai. They're attacking from starboard. Oh, I suddenly got a lot more ammunition. What the fuck? That's, that's kind of strange. I'll take it though. Fuck it. Alright, it takes care of those douchebags. Okay, very weird and deliberate cutscenes here. Alright, let's take care of these smaller boats. Fuck. Yeah, it totally should have took them out first, but whatever. It is what it is. Alright, got him. Oh, fuck. Uh, there we go. Kruger. Oh, 
Oh my god, they've got a helicopter! Oh my god, indeed. <laughs> Get away from me. Ooh, get out of the way. <laughs> the fucking thing just lands on you. Oh, they got two, actually. That's fucking great. Peace! Punk ass bitches. More ammunition. And then I have a fucking attack chopper. Fuck. Luckily, they don't really do that great of a job of moving around and shit. The controller is vibrating out of control with this chopper taking shots. Holy diver. Oh, God. Get off of me. Alright, I guess we just need to... Do we have any other better options? No, just use the Kruger, I guess. Good enough. Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Kern. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. Alright, and that's the last time that we'll, uh... have to do a mission for Colonel Cortez. Unfortunately, we, there's no way to save this boat, so once we get out of it, we kind of just lose it. Uh, look, uh, but it is what it is. Something? No, I'm still pissed off with you, you shoulder pad wearing shyster. Hey, hey, hey! Back down, Buster, before I bust your balls. No confrontation. As they say in the movies, I'm a man of peace. I'm done killing. Work with me. What do you want? A broken nose? Some speed in your eye? You're pushing me, man. I'm Maurice Chavez. I know who you are. You used to be a clown. I saw you at a bar mitzvah once. You had a great act. What, did you get tired of kids kicking you in the shin? Still, you were a first-class talent. I was? Yes, yes, great. But you lacked something. I did? Yeah, confidence, friend, confidence. You were all shot up with nerves. I'd like to be all shot up with embalming fluid. That can be arranged. We're talking about me, not Mr. Constantino Smith. Yes, confidence. It's where it all begins. Positive thinking. What are we talking about today, Maurice? I forget. Morality and uh, violence. Uh, uh, guy without it actually, it might be easier right. to positive thinking exactly, to dock friend. over here. We're talking about you, Maurice Chavez. You couldn't cut it as a clown, but you're great, and I mean great as a public radio host. It takes a lot of work to be uppity and self-important all the time. Every cab I go in, the guys love you. Hey, thanks. Hey, don't thank me. Thank yourself. You've learned something. Then oh you my God. Something, and now you're doing it. That's what it's all about. It is. Yes, you thought your way to success. It's a three-step program. Based Jesus, on why is it so fucking annoying to park like this boat? Right, let's get on fucking dry land first. All right, Tommy, it's Paul. I just heard from a mush that you've been a real naughty boy. Somebody's taken offense to you acting like the big guy all of a sudden, giving it a big shot thing. Well, don't say I never warned you or nothing. Boasting is a mugs game, son. Anyway, I heard there's some prices put on your head and someone's gonna have a crack at you, so watch yourself. And remember me, mate. Wonder who that could be.
I got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit. Where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. Alright, well, we're fucking well-armed now. This place is gonna be crawling with assholes, be careful. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you. Sure. Uh, maybe I need to get a little closer. Uh, yeah, I guess I could pick up these guys' weapons. That's like a new death anima or. I don't want to say death animation, it's not really an animation. It's a new death look. It looks kind of like Peter Griffin from Family Guy. <laughs> when he like breaks his his back or whatever the fuck. Alright. Nope, no, don't wanna do that. Alright. Well, we can't go through the front door. So let's try this way. It might actually be better to switch to this. Oh, and it actually tells you, or shows you, the actual maze map. That's great. Do you know the way, Lance? <laughs> okay, just following you, bro. I'm pretty sure that there is a weapon in this area. Yeah, there's a sniper rifle. Don't necessarily need it, though. It looks like he's shooting towards the sky. What the fuck? Diaz must be inside. All right, thanks for leading the way, Lance. You're not completely useless. Get the fuck back. There should be, like, stuff back here. Well, there's a, a weapons locker for, like, miniature-sized weapons. But when you uh, take over this estate, like, a bunch of other shit spawns there, too. Fuck! Yo, can you please? Alright, well, that worked. At least I have Lance to watch my back here. Alright, I think it's actually best to come in from up here. Take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! Eat uh. this, you murdering bastard! Yeah, you can run and hide in there. Just take that guy out so he's not a distraction. Nice. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> you stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! I trusted you, Tommy! 
I would have had you made. Say good night, Mr. Diaz. Okay, we have taken out Diaz and taken over his mansion as well. Fantabulous. Hey, Mario. Uh, so, for all intents and purposes, we righted the wrong from the beginning of the game. That. Tommy, uh, have I got a surprise for you? I'm going to finish. Studios with some major artists. Why don't you pass a visit? You know it makes sense, don't you? See you later. All right, well, we got a new employer. But, um, yeah, we righted the wrong from the beginning of the game. Where we got robbed and two of our guys got killed. Uh, I don't really want that shotgun. It kind of sucks. I want to get a stubby shotgun. So, really, everything from here on out is kind of just like a bonus. Tommy, remember me? Hello, Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons. Busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy. Because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. All right, Sonny, just take it easy. You know. Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the- You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory and let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle, or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. All right. So, Tommy with the self-imposed uh, deadline. So, that's great. Oh, that was such a cool song. I wish I could listen to it. And you... You are a maniacally depressed loony with anemia. You guys should hate each other. Did you say love fist? Those guys are so super. Listen, I just wrote another poem. If I had a flower for every time I think of you, I'd walk forever in a garden. And I just wrote a poem too. Shut up, you weird, pathetic people. This is my show, Maurice Chavez. Capiche? Comprende? We're not here to recite poetry or sell motivation tapes or talk to dead people. We're here to rest the issue. Anyway, let's take a break. We'll be right back after this important information from Vice City Public Radio. That's pressing issues here on VCPR, Vice City Public Radio. If you haven't given money to VCPR and you're listening to the station, you are a thief. That's right, Michelle. You might as well throw a brick through the window and loot the place. How selfish you people are. This is public radio, serving the public with everything that is important, like me. So come on, keep us on air. It's really important. Send us your money. I all right, smash all the glass for all the storefronts. Not a terribly difficult mission. Gay Gordo's Bouffant Boutique? Okay. You asked for this moron. Alright. That's pretty interesting. And it has like a little... I run this town now. Me. You can just auto-lock on and also there's like... Uh... Markers here. That's interesting. Ruined indeed.
Okay, that was really weird. I didn't destroy all of the windows, but it still allowed me to finish the mission. Whatever, dude. I'll fucking take it. Alright, so the next thing... Well, let's answer this phone call first. Just thought I'd ring you up and give you some advice. Hey, Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. All I'm saying is keep your eyes open and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. Okay, so the next thing that the guide is telling me to do... Uh, is by the film studio, and fuck, it looks like my car disappeared. That sucks. Alright, whatever, I'll just take this. Yeah, by the film studio, and then we can, uh, I think, do some mill. more unique stunt jumps. I personally don't really hell, want to, and I think <laughs> but... Oh, yeah, I just don't want to go out of order from the guide or already more than we have done uh, done so already. Ask man, I can find treasure in the dark. Oh my god, with these fucking phone calls. Okay. Uh, 60 grand? We got it. All right, so, uh, I need to get a fucking motorbike first. Moon, but seriously, the eyes, really. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Jazz. I've always thought your music really lets people see into your The completion soul. of right, the film studio the missions, like me. uh, you see, babe, will allow us to complete the unique stunt right? jump, so that's I'm probably why they're making me stars on do them in the now. It's about being able to communicate through music rather than words. It's set in a wind tunnel. That's why there's a huge snake painted on my jacket. The snake symbolizes kind of a subconscious power force because life is Oh, the fucking PC J isn't there right, anymore. Music, That's kind of weird. Lost. This new album All right, well, I know where another one is. I am brilliant on it because I sing from the heart. About heartbreak? Babe, 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 don't go there, please. You do your show a favor, take it easy. My people spoke to your people about this, and seriously, I appreciate the offer. And look, I would shag it. But you have to understand, it's too soon. Because Shari left you, right? Babe, babe, my people spoke about this. Alright, well, you're the uh, unlucky guy that I'll just be taking this from. Sweetheart, I can get you something much better. These pills are very strong. Actually, I wanted to keep listening to K-Chat. Shari had to go because she wanted to be a Marine. We couldn't be together. Seriously, don't go there. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> Tissue out there. Oh, Jazz. I'm so sorry. Seriously, love, if you listen to this song, Dragon Eyes, it says everything that needs to be said about her. You can't help me. It's raw, like a chicken's head, you know? The pain it grips you and makes you think about everything. It's the longest night of all. I think we need to go December down here, right? <laughs> Jazz, uh, this has been the best. Yeah, we have to, like, of my use life. this to jump up Thanks here. Thanks so much for coming on. Right? For all you love this fans out there, it's time for a contest. That's right, ladies and gents, you're listening to me. Jess Torrent on Kate Chan. Okay. Being interviewed by so we need to take this uh, ramp. It's Amy. Oh God, you forgot my name? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Citizens of Vice City. Now you've got the opportunity to win a part. Okay. Of and then we got to jump. I only give away parts of myself. This ramp right here. All our records. So you've got to answer this. On which album did Beast Fist appear? Was it A? Dogs on heat. B. Fat chicks all day, all night. Or C. Devil's own band. For the chance to win tons of I guess I could have prizes. done this Just before, the but the only all way out, I think, would have been to die. Answer on a postcard and send it into the station. Jez, before you go, will you please play us a song acoustic? Piss off! Acoustic songs are for sissies. Babe, seriously, do not cramp my style. Look. All right, so now we're, I guess, expected to do these missions. Let's do them. I 
action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are? poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art. Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, wow. I think this is some free art crap. Jeez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Alright, I think we're gonna need a four-seater vehicle. Pretty sure, anyway. Old Max, we go everywhere together. Right, boy? At Pet Stuffers, we know there's nothing like a relationship between a man and his dog. Sometimes you just can't uh, let go. Max, you didn't eat your food. I think I passed it. That's the second week in a row. Max? When the unspeakable happens, just put your four-legged friend in the refrigerator or freezer. Then call Pet Stuffers. We'll be there within a week to pick him up, and in less than a month, he'll be back as good as new. Through an ancient... Yo, Candy, I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure. But you'd have to talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have stayed at home today. Can you believe this, asshole? All right. All right, I don't think I need to fight these guys. Okay, maybe I do. You asked for it. Fucking bastard men. I gotta chase this fucko down. This is Kate Chat. Welcome back to the show. I'm Amy Schechenhausen, and next up, we're going to be interviewing someone with a lot to say for herself. A woman who pretended to be a man and then wrote a book about it. I haven't read it, but I'm going to pretend I did. She's professor of anthrosociology and women's studies at the University of Vice City. And her name is Michael. Oh, they fucking Travis. popped my goddamn tire. Michael, Bastards. Hi, welcome to K-Chat. Hello. Hi. So, Michaela, you're a teacher. If you mean professor, oh, yes, come I'm on. a doctor. Fuck, all right, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's use the M4. Come on, you son of a bitch. Alright, well, this car is not gonna do. Uh... I guess we could just use the van. Whoa, why is this about to flip the fuck over? It is unfortunate you measure your self-worth in relation to a man, my dear. Look at you. You could be an attractive girl. If you did some physical labor, cut your hair short, grew out your body hair, and wore boots, for example. You what the fuck? Why is this so fucking top-heavy? But I like dating. Having someone by you... Oh my god. That's unbelievable. I really don't think the fucking... Uh, those vans were so... Uh, top heavy in the original game. But fascinated. Now, as an academic, I can get paid to write a book about pretty much anything, as long as I give it a complicated title. Are you with me, gorgeous? Ooh, I think so. Good. Then hold my hand. It helps me think. No! Okay, okay, sorry. Don't be so weird. God, everywhere I go... Come on, let's go. Yes, let's go. 
You were talking about yourself? Oh, of course. The ego is a dangerous thing, especially in my case. I'm a Jungian. Anyway, so what I did was dress up like a man and enter into the man world. I can tell you. Right, I could drive through there, but those fucking barricades are apparently solid. Well, the first chapter. I'm just gonna have to go around. These sexists spent all day on a roof talking about us, Amy. I was expected to sit around and talk about what I had done to women. Of course, I had to, so as not to blow my cover. So what's the name of your book? Yes, as mentioned hitherto, my book has a very, very obtuse title: Being and Singing. From Freud to the building site. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> You're hired. Get in. <laughs> I don't know why Get In wasn't uh, subtitled, but... Is what it is. It's evil fashion schemes! Oh, oh, come sorry. on, Mercedes, you got anyway, this. I learned a lot when Don't I was get stuck. Man. Jesus Christ. Right, there she is. Women, when they are out of earshot, I was horrified. Or that men regard so Oh, there's another vehicle right there if I needed it. Okay. Sex toys, things for their amusement. Unbelievable. Or that men actually find sports interesting. It's appalling. And they run the world, my pretty. Oh, yes, they run the world. They do? Yeah. Look at Reagan. Look at Thatcher. Look at Gorbachev. While we stay home and bake cookies. Well, screw that, sweetheart. Yes, I agree. Good. Don't bake a cookie. Smash him in the face with a baking tray instead. He's a brainless dolt. He's a man. Did you know men enjoy looking at pictures of naked women? It's called pornography. It's sick and foul. I'm giving a talk about it this weekend at the Women's Center. That's women with a Y. <laughs> I think you spelled it wrong. Are you a woman? Three of the five. Hey, Tommy, you coming in for a warm up? Maybe later, babe. That's why I don't call myself a woman, Amy. Um, okay. I bet this radio station is owned by a man. Wow, they are just really swinging their hips there. Whoa. Cool shark. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras Point it at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. All right, this, uh, this mission's a huge pain in the fucking dick. I really don't like it. A lot of trouble with it as a kid, but maybe as an adult, it won't give me so many problems. Alright. Yeah, the problem is, is the, the fucking fuel. They're fighting crime the hard way in designer clothes with a quarter of a million dollar sports car. And also, this is kind of an unwieldy vehicle to fly. Right now, let's go cruise in the car and look moody. One tough downtown precinct, two okay. outsiders doing things their way. Yuppie and the Alien on VBC. Hi, I'm BJ Smith. Man, these, uh. <sighs> Fucking map is not cars from all over America lined up properly. On the GPS, I mean, like the the plane wings are not lined up properly with the GPS. Like I'm way past the fucking checkpoint. Another quality of life thing that uh, they could have improved on in this game, but chose not to for whatever fucking reason. Oof, that was close. And if you see a car of your dreams, tell 
us. We can acquire it for you. I've taken the skills I've learned as a pro football player to the used car business. Smash grab. Hope it's not fucked up in San Andreas because you do a lot more flying in that game. In fact, I don't even know if Vice City actually had this, like, plain icon in it. I, I, I don't think they did. Again, not sure. Total guess. I left my broken-hearted husband and baby behind. Now I'm living in a commune with a series of life partners, having quite simple, amazing experiences. I got my inspiration from a lecture you gave last year. Thank you so much. You taught me a lot. Yes, good, sweetheart. But ask yourself, are you doing enough? It sounds to me like you're living a lie. Your life is still very man-centric. You're still justifying yourself by the I am not, rather than the I am principle. I mean, really. You might as well make his bed and clean his litter tray, for God's sake. It's half-hearted fools like you who give feminism a bad name. But, uh, I, I even attacked my brother with a bread knife. You show pony, prom queen, cheerleader, skirt wearer. You see, Amy. God damn, she's really flinging those uh, insults around. Pick and mix, not prepared to carry out their threats. That woman, that lady, as I bet she likes to be known, is really a self hater. All right, I think we need to actually make a wide world. turn here, yeah. so I'm gonna. I, I bet she's never even attacked a man with a vat of boiling oil. Yeah. But she said she tried to kill her brother. Don't argue with me. I write books. Okay. Next caller. All right. Looks like we did it. Nice. All right, let's see if we can bring this back to the, uh, the film studio. I think you can't really land it and get out on a pier just because of the way that the mechanics work. So let's actually just land on the grass here. Yeah, this is kind of like a one-use vehicle kind of a thing. Maybe you could, but I'm not willing to take the, the chance. All right, Sonny sounds really upset. Oh boy, this next mission is kind of a pain in the ass, but okay. I notice I'm saying that a lot, but it's true. <laughs> I'm not just sort of flinging these around for nothing. I'm glad I was able to do that mission. It wasn't too difficult, honestly. You know, I wonder. Could I just enter through the back here? Yeah, I totally could. So you don't actually get locked in here. You can totally get in uh, through the back there. Martha's mugshot. Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then we... I don't give a crap about that! Just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem on the phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the more fleshy aspects of this nation's great entertainment industry. Okay, all right. Okay. Candy, you know Shrub. You guys get up to anything kinky? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. All right. Oh okay. yeah. All right. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Got that. Was that part of the? Uh, or was she talking to? Hey, I can never tell. Anyway, you're probably best following her after the shoot. See if she'll lead you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah. Get him a camera. Well, that's an awkward cutscene. Definitely would not want my parents to see that. I'm sure that they probably have at some point, though. Walking in on me as I play this fucking game. I like how they give us a helicopter, though. That's great. To the jungles of Cambodia, follow one man's quest. Oh, it has an elevation. Yeah. 
They, I think they did add a lot of new stuff in this game. I know you come. Just like old days, we kill everybody. Tim, they've got your wife, but I'm not married. You are now. What is up with these shadows? Holy shit. Oh, there's a fucking, like, a zeppelin above me. <laughs> there must be, anyway. I can't even, like, turn the camera all the way up. Been a fine American. I'll cry when I'm done killing. Get yourself a body bag, strap yourself in, start making friends the American way. Exploder Evacuator Part 2. Rated PG. May include patriotic garbage. So, hello everyone, and welcome back to K Chat, Vice City's main place for things. I mean, well, it's a place in Vice City where things go on, like interviews or things, or other things like that. But at the moment, it's interviews. Oh, looks like there's Amy armor Shacken there as well. The best interviewer in Vice try and remember City, all this stuff. To K -Chat. Remember, you only hear Amy on K Chat. Our next guest is a man on a mission, and that's why he's got such a silly name. His mission is simple: zoos. His name is Mr. Zoo. Good I I'm. Hi, Mr. Zoo. Hi, the name's Pat. Pat Flannerty, but I love zoos, I really do. That's why they also call me Mr. Zoo. Okay, and which do you prefer? Uh, what, darling? Which name, Mr. Zoo or Pat Flinger thingy? Oh, I don't mind, babe, whatever you fancy. Fine by me, as long as we talk about animals. I don't give a damn what you call me, as long as it ain't Sheila or something. <laughs> You're silly, Mr. Zoo. Why would I call you Sheila? Uh, I don't know, love, you tell me. Oh, God. I'm, this is getting confusing. It says here your name is Mr. Zoo, and now you're saying your name is Pat Flanagan, and now you're saying it's Sheila? Yeah, doll, the name ain't Sheila. That's a Sheila's name. It's an Australian joke. Okay, all right. I don't speak Australian. Do I? I guess not, sweetheart. Okay, well, moving on. You're Mr. Zoo. That I am. Cool! And I hear you've made quite a name for yourself. Why is that? Hey! Animals and publicity and stuff, but I love her. Kathy, could you call me Martha? Oh, Alex. I mean Martha. Whatever you say. Interesting. So, right. What about animals? Well, it's interesting, right? Three good blackmail photographs. Okay. Same as a fly or a cockroach or a pigeon. That's the new science out there called genetics. All right, hopefully we can uh, do this very quickly. Wow, he is, uh, looking very interesting here. Martha, someone's watching. How kinky. Well, shit. Alright, we need to get the foe out of here and see if we can make do with the pistol. Oh my god, come on. You, give me that camera. A five-star wanted level, too. Holy shit. I guess we are blackmailing a congressman. Fuck. Alright. We're doing so, uh, we're doing fine. Alright, we need to get the fuck out of here. Something for the guys out there, really. Come on. You know with a girl, right? You ain't got a clue. I mean a female. All right, human. awesome. When she's on heat, we have like liftoff. Looks identical to a female human when she ain't on heat. And would throw a drink over your face if you grab her behind and start trying anything intimate. 
You can't tell the difference. I know that only too well. But take a forker monkey from the jungles of the Philippines. When she's on heat, her behind sticks up and glows bright red and she makes a sound a bit like this. And any fool or dingbat can tell she's ripe and ready for action certainly clears up any... Oh my god. Get out. Holy shit. What the fuck? Where did that even come from? Damn. That was, uh, very shocking. Alright, well, we're at time, but I just want to get some armor before we save and call it apart. Lucky, we actually... Uh, discovered a new armor location, so we can just go there. There are also lots of tiny differences between animals. You know what a species is, don't you, Aim? Yes. It's an animal which has other animals which are quite a bit like it. A dog is a species, but a cat isn't, because there's lots of cats. Nice. Alright. Oh, and I fucking looked away. Okay, I think the next mission is actually the last one for the film studio, but we're coming up on time. It's not the easiest mission, it takes a while, and I don't want to run too long, so we'll save that for the next part. Completely different it is. I was amazed when I found it. I can imagine. I was amazed when I left the hairdressers. No wonder, darling. Oh, the double gutted cat tree monkey. Exactly like a normal tree monkey, only it's All right. As always, it's been real and it's been nice. In other words, it's been real nice. I'll see you next time. <laughs>